What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! All right, we're coming back to My Chemical Romance. Yes, indeed, My Chemical Romance fans feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video is done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from MAT, and this is actually MAT's prioritized request for the month of January for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page, so... Here you go, MAT. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, MAT wanted to see me react to this. It is my chemical romance with a tune called I Never Told You What I Do For A Living. What do you do? What? What do you do? I'm a construction. Yeah, right. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, Wait a minute. Hang on a second. I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by My Chemical Romance. Okay. And the video has 6.5 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. I never told you what I do for a living. That's all I got. <laughs> Look, this is the link I was given, so if we're not in the right place, don't blame me. <laughs> blame Emmett. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Okay, we've been switching around quite a bit. Um, switching between straight time, double time, half time, 
Um, within the straight time, we've gone to that uh, 316th subdivision. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, it, one to the, one to the, one to the, one to the, one to the. You know, it, it's, it's, it, it's still straight time. Just the subdivisions are putting the, and putting the accents on every third sixteenth. Um, and now we've actually gone to 6'8". So we're, we're playing around with feel quite a bit. And we even had an actual time signature to change from the sound of it um, and from the feel of it, which is really cool. Um, that's really nice. That's really well done. I, I, I'm digging that for sure. As far as the chordal progression goes, I, I wouldn't say it's anything impressive. It, it's a pretty... Pretty straightforward chordal progression. Nothing all that fancy at all about it, but it's definitely getting the job done. It feels good. It sounds good. It makes sense. It's easy to follow. So that, that's not a criticism at all. It's just I'm just saying if people are asking me, you know, you know, what I, what I think about the chordal progression, I'm just gonna say it's simple. It, it's not complex. But there's that's perfectly fine. The complexity is coming from the field changes and from the time signature change as well. Uh, vocally, it sounds good. Got no issue with it. It sounds like your typical My Chemical Romance song from what I've heard from them in the past. Um, everything's, everything's hitting up for par. So I, I got no problem with this. Let's keep going here. fine it, it, you don't need to go back to the 4-4 that's not a, that's not a necessity um but it would have made things a little cleaner a little bit cleaner i'll i'll explain what i mean by that in the review um yeah because that's pretty much gonna be the only thing i'm gonna talk about uh let me get my thoughts together i'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it well, there you go, folks. That is My Chemical Romance with I Never Told You What I Do For A Living. This was a request from M At, and this was actually M At's prioritized request for the month of January for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, M At. Hope you enjoy the show. Um, there's really not a lot to talk about. There, there's, there's one thing in particular I do want to discuss, and it will require a little explanation, but, but for the most part, Everything else about the song, I already talked about during the course of the reaction, so this should not be too long. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how this goes. Let's start off with the rating. Out of a possible five stars, I am going to give that four stars. Yep, four out of five stars. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Very straight ahead song, uh, from, especially from the chordal progression standpoint, from the song structure, the chordal structure, 
uh, melodic lines, uh, harmonic lines, uh, counter melodic lines, it, it, everything when it came to melodics and chords, it, it, everything made sense. Everything was very well put together, very well structured, very simple, uh, and I would dare say basic, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because it makes the song easy to follow along and it makes the song very enjoyable without requiring a whole lot of brain power. You know what I mean? So that, that, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It, it, it makes for a very easy to listen to song. Now, what made the song stand up to me was the constant changing around with feel. We had straight time, we had half time, we had double time. On top of that, uh, when we were in the straight time, there would be a lot of times where they, we would go to that 3 16th note accent pattern. One, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four. And it it felt really good. It, it felt really good the way they did it. Here's the thing. They when they would do it, they would do it for a while. It, it was, I, I wouldn't say overkill, but it, it it got, it would walk up to that edge of overdone, you know, but but then they would stop and they would just go into a straight ahead four feel for a while. And when they would come back to it, it'd be a, quite a while later, but, and then they would do it again. Again, walking up to the edge of almost being overdone, but not quite before they would switch gears again. I like those accents personally. I I, I I always have a, been a big fan of that that accent pattern of you know whether it be three sixteenths or three eighths or whatever the case may be, depending on the speed that we're playing at and the feel that we're in at the time. Uh, it I, I've always dug that, and, and I don't know why it just it it's always sit very well with me. Um, so I got no issue with that whatsoever. We even had a time signature change. Now here's where things are gonna get a little bit interesting. Uh, we did have a time signature change. We did switch from 4-4 to 6-8. Now, I appreciate that. I always appreciate that because I love 6-8. I, I always have. I always will. And whenever you're able to incorporate 6-8 out of 4-4, it, it always feels really good to me. I, I've always enjoyed it. Now, here's the thing. And this is something I actually learned in music appreciation when I was, when I was, taking, uh, when I was taking classes at, over in college. Um, one of the things we, that was discussed in music appreciation is starting and finishing the time signatures with the same time signature there's absolutely nothing wrong with finishing or, or starting or, or changing time signatures as a matter of fact most comp most composers will encourage that uh playing around with time signatures is always fun and it makes the song stand out and it makes things different it, it throws that that monkey wrench into the gears where people were you know listening to just four four the whole time and, and, and unfortunately this happens people will zone out people will become complacent all of a sudden you throw a time signature change in there and all of a sudden everything goes, whoa, 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 what just happened there? And, and that's what you want. You want to re-engage the listener. There's absolutely nothing wrong with changing time signature. And there's nothing wrong with how My Chemical Romance ended the song. You know, they, they went from 4-4, they went to 6-8, and they stayed in 6-8 all the way to the end. Is there anything wrong with that? No, there's not. There's nothing wrong with it. But having said that, when you do come back to your original time signature, that's where everything gets tied in. That's where you're going to see all the time signature changes get tied into the song. Now it's going to go, oh, okay, there it is. Now, now it feels like one song, whereas you have 4-4 four, four, and then 6-8, and it just stays in 6-8 and ends in 6-8. It, it, this is this is not necessarily what happened, but what can happen is you'll all of a sudden get the feeling of, well, this feels like two different songs because everything didn't get tied in. Everything didn't get, you know, finished out and sandwiched in together. Oh, now I see. Now it's conducive. Now it all makes sense when you have 4-4 four, four at the beginning, 4-4 four, four at the end, and 6-8 in the middle. Or 6-8 at the beginning, 4-4 four, four in the middle, 6-8 at the end. Or... 4-4, four, 3-4, four, 4-4, four, 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 or 4-4, four, 7-8, four, 3-4, four, 3-8, four, 4-4. Four, four. You see what I mean? And it, it all gets tied in. It all becomes conducive. But when you have the beginning and you have this middle section and it ends with the middle section without any reference back to the beginning, it can feel like two different songs. Now, is that, like I said, is that a bad thing? No, not at all. If that's what you're going for, nothing wrong with it. I didn't have any problem with them ending with the 6-8. I actually, I, I kind of dug it. Um, 
it, it did kind of leave you hanging like, you know, are, are, we gonna, are we gonna go back to the 4-4? Are we gonna have that tie-in? Are we gonna have that connection? But we didn't, and that's okay. That's all right. I didn't hold it against them. It, it didn't take points off or anything like that. It just, I just would have wondered what would have happened if they had gone back to 4-4. Would it have felt cleaner? Would the ending have felt more conducive? I, I think it would have, but that's okay. It, it's all right. They didn't do anything wrong. Uh, just for the record, they didn't do anything wrong there. Um, so yeah, four stars. It, I think it's a really good song. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say it's an amazing song or a mind-blowing song or a fantastic song. And I, I, I'll be honest with you folks, I hesitate to say great, but uh, definitely really good without question. And that's why it earned the rating of four stars. I feel good about that rating and that is where we're going to stay. So four out of five stars, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then, by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.